Button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already go ahead and click that red button right there and also click that bell for notifications and select all all right Oh schemes and graphics we are making a building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you and today we are going to be installing natural vision evolved in quant v all right we'll be installing both of these together i will leave both links down in the description this page right now that i'm on is raised mods website this is where you can find the natural vision evolved just go ahead and select the download button right here and this download button will lead you to the single player beta which is the free version of natural vision you can do this with the paid version or the free version all right so the next link will be quant v this is quant v's patreon you will need to become a patreon of quant v in order to have access to the downloads through discord okay so you must have a discord and have your discord connected to patreon before you become a patron of quant v all right so once you have your nve and your quant v downloaded it should look something like this on my left hand side i have two downloads the first download is nve natural vision evolved and the second one is quant v on my right hand side i have my open four opened up and ready to go all of the requirements that are necessary for this tutorial will be linked down in the description all right so once you have your open for open go ahead and make sure you have your edit mode turned on turn your edit mode on it's just a little button up here after that has been turned on let's go ahead and start off with natural vision evolved okay we're going to do this first nve let's open up that folder inside that folder we are going to have two more folders and two oiv packages along with a readme all right we want to select the natural vision installer part one always start with part one okay so select the part one oiv package try and drop that over to open four now at this point you should already have a mods folder um, created inside of your gta 5 directory if you don't have a mods folder go ahead and select this little button right here create new folder and go ahead and create a new folder and name it mods after that's been created we could go ahead and drag and drop that package over to open four and when we drag and drop it it's going to open up a package installer we want to select install then we want to select mods folder then select install confirm installation after that is done let's go back to our mve single player beta package folder and select part two okay we want to select part two drag and drop that over here to open for package installer will open select install select mods folder and select install confirm installation after that is done we can go back to our downloads let's go into the optional add-ons and inside the optional add-ons we have a game config okay this is going to be in the optional add-ons folder it's going to be number 17 number 17 is going to say game config for vehicle mods open that one up and inside there we will have a install for a game config and a uninstall for the game config we want to select the install game config for vehicle mods select that oiv package drag and drop it over to open four package installer will open up select install select mods folder then select install confirm installation after this done after that is done let's go ahead and select the back arrow select the back arrow again now we want to go into the reshade shaders folder go inside the reshade shaders folder inside there we are going to select all the contents inside the reshade shaders folder and we're going to drag and drop that into our gta 5 directory all right let's drag and drop it right over here into open four into our directory make sure that you are on your directory drag and drop that here once that has been dragged and dropped we are all done with nve okay we have installed nve we have installed the game config for nve and we also installed the reshade that comes with nve all right so let's press the back arrow now we could go ahead and start with the quant v installation let's open up quant v inside quant v folder is going to be two folders Let's open up the install folder. Inside the install folder is going to be an OIV package. Let's go ahead and select it, drag and drop it into open four. A package installer window is going to open up, select install, mods folder, install confirm installation. 
After that has been done installing, let's press the back arrow. Now let's go into the optionals folder. Inside the optionals folder, we are going to have the optional presets and performance quality presets. Let's open up the optional presets. Um, inside here, you will have the options. Um, let's open up a little, make it a little bigger for you. And here you have some options to uh, either have some visual presets, remove the blood effect, um, metallic paint, raindrops on the windows, and things of that type of nature, okay? Uh, we will not be installing any optional presets here. Just want to go through and show you. And inside uh, the performance quality presets, inside the optionals folder, this is where we are going to have all of our EMB presets right here, okay? So if you wanted to install EMB, all you have to do is pick one of these presets right here for the EMB presets, all right? I'm going to pick, uh, let's pick EMB medium. So just for this tutorial, we're gonna use the EMB medium, okay? So once you select your preset, drag and drop it over here to open four. You wanna select install, select mods folder, then select install confirm installation after that is installed you're all good to go now that part you really don't have to it's only an optional thing one last thing before we run the game for quant v to work with reshade um this is something that we need to do before we run the game right here in order for reshade to work okay so what we want to do is go into the gta 5 exe you want to right click on that and you want to select compatibility and then you want to go down to compatibility mode. You want to check run this program in compatibility mode for. Then you want to select Windows 7. After you're done doing that, go ahead and select apply and OK. Um, now that we have NVE and Quant V installed, let's go ahead and minimize any other windows we might have open and run the game. All right. As soon as you spawn in the game, what you want to do is uh, go to the pause menu and go to settings and then go to your graphics settings. There's gonna be some things we need to make sure that is set in order for these graphics to uh, take place. I mean, not take place, but in order for these graphics to work correctly, all right? So let's go to our graphics settings and start off with DirectX version and make sure that that is on DirectX 11, okay? DirectX 11. And let's scroll down. You want to make sure that your shader quality is on very high okay you want to make sure it's on the highest it could go which is very high shader quality on very high all right and last but not least we need to go down to post effects okay go down to post effects and make sure that that is on ultra okay set post effects to ultra All right, since we're down here at the beach, let's go ahead and go through uh, the buttons to open up Reshade for MVE, okay? To open up Reshade for MVE, we're going to need to press Insert, okay? Press Insert. That's going to open up uh, this menu right here that you see is the Reshade. It's not a menu, it's a Reshade where you can select your different presets. Um, it automatically comes with the MVE preset. You can just, you know, find it in here in the drop menu down here. Uh, the first time you open it, uh, more than likely it's going to have a tutorial. So you could have the option to skip the tutorial also and just go ahead and pick your presets. Right here, you also have the option to have um, the screen raindrops, which is rain on the screen pretty much. And um, some other things as well, okay? So I suggest uh, just going through here, playing around with the uh, different little presets and uh, just, you know, adjust it to your liking, all right? So in order to get out of there, we can just press insert again, and that will get rid of that. And you also have uh, EMB. Let's open up that with shift enter. Shift plus enter together will open up your EMB. Now, in order to um, edit the raindrops on the windows through Quant V, you want to make sure that you have your enable post pass shader on. Make sure that that is checked. And when that is checked, you want to come up here to uh, EMB effects post pass. And this is where you will see your screen raindrops and you can edit how big the raindrops are and the speed of it and all these type of things. All right. Once you're done doing that, make sure that you come up here and save your configuration and you could press shift enter to exit back out of the EMB screen right there. All right. All right. And I'm going to show you the rain. Um, I suggest if you're going to use NVE um, and change the weather, always change the weather with Simple Trainer. Okay, always change it with Simple Trainer. Um, other trainers might mess up the weather or mess up the weather cycle that NVE has it on. 
so we'll switch it to rain right there and as you can see we have the rain on the screen like I said you can open up EMB and adjust how big you want the raindrops or how fast that you want the raindrops to fall all right so we're gonna go ahead and end the tutorial right there but if this helped y'all out to install it or if you just enjoyed the video smash that like button for me definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already e -e -e and share the video with your friends that are in the modding GTA 5 y'all this game's graphics me and a big balling ass freak we are out of here till next time yo I ain't scared of you motherfuckers